I kind of got to Kansas in a roundabout way. Uh, you know, when I was playing football down in Austin, you know, I was, wasn't very highly recruited and so was trying to send my tape out and get in contact with as many schools as possible. And I actually visited Lawrence after I went to a football camp in Manhattan um, after I'd been offered by Kansas State. And after seeing Manhattan and coming to Lawrence, there was no question in my mind that Lawrence is where I wanted to be. They fake to the running back, Reesing runs it, dives to the pylon, touchdown, Todd Reesing. You know, that 2007 season uh, was so special because of, of so many different reasons. You know, for all the fans that had decades and decades of wanting to have a team, you know, be at the top, um, you know, competing for a Big 12 title and you know, being close to having a number one ranking. And so it's so special to, to have that for the university, for all the fans, and for all the former players as well, because without those guys kind of paving the way for us, we would have never had the success that we had. That's a touchdown! Well, the, the academic side was always uh, as equally as important for me as the, as the athletic side. I think getting a really good education is so important in today's world um, for, such a, for a number of reasons. You know, you, there is going to be life after athletics. Uh, you're going to need to go on and create a new career outside of that. And I think having a solid foundation of education uh, is so vitally important. To be out there and working and putting my degree to use uh, after football and after college is really enjoyable because it really is you know, part of your life that you're going to spend so much time doing and something that I really enjoy doing. I think having that education from Kansas was so important for me in being successful in life after college and life after sports. Such a great memory. You know, it was fourth and seven at the 27 yard line with 27 seconds to play. And we had called a timeout right before the play to kind of decide what, you know, what we wanted to do. And you know the, the initial objective of the play was to, to get Briscoe uh, on a one-on-one -on -one route and then Carey be the second option. Well, because of the conditions and snow in the, in the bad field, Briscoe had slipped on his route and then Carey had been covered up because they went to a man-to-man -man coverage. So at that point, I'm kind of like, uh-oh. You know, the, the play didn't really work out as planned. So then it kind of turned to backyard football, which is kind of where I felt more comfortable anyways. So I started scrambling, picked up some good blocks, and Kerry was able to spring free, and then I caught him just out of the corner of my eye. And I almost just kind of shot put the ball because I was afraid of overthrowing him, underthrowing him, so I just lobbed it up real high where I knew that there's no chance I could miss it. We sing with the ball. Here comes pressure. And he's flushed out of the pocket. He throws. Got Meyer. Oh! Touchdown! 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 Terry Meyer! Freezing avoided pressure. He stepped up inside the tackle, started outside. Meanwhile, Kerry Meyer carried on his route, came open late. The gunslinger hit him in stride right over the middle. Watch Terry just run underneath it uh, and score and listen to the fans go absolutely crazy. It was one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. Well, staying connected to Kansas is a huge priority for me. And I got so many great memories and lifelong friends from attending the University of Kansas, you know, both on the football field and off the field. So staying a part of that community, that network of Jayhawks, is something that I'm always going to do uh, for the rest of my life. I'm Todd Reesing, and I'm a proud member of the KU Alumni Association.